Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm going to trace all of the wires on this 12-volt conversion. I've just gone through this stuff with the multimeter, and everything is correct, and I made a brand new diagram. I've gone through a whole bunch of these each one of these parts, this is a Pertronics coil. This came with its own diagram. There's an electronic ignition in here. That came with its own diagram. And the 12 volt conversion with this alternator here, that came with its own diagram. And then there's other diagrams online. I just cobbled everything together with what I thought would work. It did work. And now I'm gonna show that to you. I guess we'll start here, the battery. What you got to do is get the best battery you can get that's the exact same size or pretty much the same size as the original but in 12 volt and then you take your cables off and this used to be the positive so you measure both of your cables and then just reverse what they were the negative now becomes the same length as the positive and the positive becomes the same length as the old negative was this one really seems too long, but I'll tuck it back here. I haven't really done anything since I got this rewired. One thing to note on these Fergies is that this negative cable that used to be the positive is connected in a really tight spot to the frame back here, and you got to take the air cleaner off to get at it, but it's not that big of a deal. So the negative cable goes back and is grounded to the frame. The positive cable starts at the battery, comes down here, and is connected to the starter switch. Now we'll head to the diagram and I'll show you everything off the diagram. We'll start with the ignition. The ignition is right here. And let me see if I can get some light on this. The back on this one is marked ammeter coil and accessory. This is ammeter, this red number 10 one, and that goes up to the positive side of the ammeter. Coming off the coil terminal, there is a brown wire that goes to the positive side of the coil. That's this right here. It comes off the switch, goes into the loom here, and pops out here, and it goes to the positive side of the coil. This coil is an aftermarket Pertronics coil, and it's internally resisted. So I had a resistor here to see if it needed it. I took it out and made this jumper. In the end, I'm just going to connect these two ends permanently and shrink wrap it back up. So pay no never mind to that stuff right there. And then also on the coil, on the positive side, is this red wire. I don't know what size this is. It's really skinny and it's silicone. This goes to the electronic ignition and the other one, the black one, goes to the negative side. The electronic ignition is also Pertronics and it runs smooth as hell with that. I would highly recommend if you're redoing a tractor like this to put an electronic ignition in like this and a higher power coil like that. So we have this yellow ended wire. Like I said, it goes back here and goes up to the positive side of the ammeter. Then we have this purple red wire, purple ended. It goes into the loom right here and goes to that same terminal as the positive battery terminal on the starter switch. And on the drawing here, we have that wire going up to the ammeter to the positive and this wire coming down to the starter switch. Battery and red wire going down to the starter switch. Just like this. On the other side of the starter switch, we have this big fat one, and that just goes right to the starter. And on here, shows that right here, coming off the other side and going to the starter. And on the negative side of the ammeter, we have another number 10 wire, and that goes down into the loom as well and that pops out right here and goes around the corner 
and comes right through here and is connected to the alternator. That is the only wire connected to the alternator. All right, we'll go over this again. So this is the ignition switch. On here we have accessory and that just goes up to the light switch which really doesn't do anything right now. The other end of it doesn't have anything on because I haven't wired that up yet. We have a wire going to the ammeter to the positive side. That's a big red number 10 one. That's this right here. We have another red number 10 on that same terminal and that goes down to the starter switch. And that's this one right here, this purple ended one. Comes out and down to that same terminal. Then we have the big black wire coming off this other side and going to the starter right there. We have a brown wire that's coming off the terminal mark coil that just loops up, goes into the loom again, and comes up and goes to the positive side. And we have red going to the positive, black going to the negative, and those go to the Pertronics electronic ignition that's under the cap here. These battery cables, I ordered these from a racing place. These are number two, and you can see it right there. And I had them make them to the length that I wanted them, which is the exact length that these were. All you got to do is take off the original cables and measure them, and you got the length. So that about wraps it up. This is a well-working 12-volt conversion. If you don't have all the same stuff, your conversion might be different. If you don't have a single wire alternator or if you don't have that kind of a coil that's internally resisted or if you don't have an electronic ignition things might be different and you'll have to kind of figure it out yourself but this is how I wired it and it works fantastic. The next wiring that I'm going to do on this is to wire up the lights. I have the OEM headlights. This had some junky utility lights right here. The OEM are those teardrop lights, and they're 12 volt, of course. Pair of those, and then we have a work light for that side, and a street running light for this side, which is a red light, and that's to let cars know that you're there at night if you're running this on the street. So if you want to see me wiring all that stuff, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.